Let me tell you a story of a little girl named after a star. Nyota. So Nyota, here's the thing. You're talented. But this business is about patience. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep working at it. And soon, all the good things will come to you. How will you handle uni? Una uimbe? Babe, surely you tell me natoko wapi? Kila kitu mina ataka. Kufika mali nita kufika, ina itajido. That's why I've stayed with magic all this time. This dance that you and M do all the time, so you guys just kiss and make up. Nilikuambia exactly ni nani mina ataka, sindio? I'm not convinced. I don't think you guys know how to handle your female artists. I'm telling you, if you want something done right, you better just do it yourself. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Now, this you you're the creator and the director, right? Yes. You're like the everything, <laughs> isn't you? It's this is a drama set uh in the let me just read, set in Kenya's music industry. What do you mean music industry? Uh because that's where I started yes. uh, in the film industry. Uh a lot of people knew me from doing a lot of music videos. Yeah. And uh it's it's not When you say it's based in Kenyan industry, somebody might think it's based on a true story, mm -hmm. but it's just a culmination of what happens around, mm -hmm. and you're able to make this fictional uh, story, yeah. but it kind of uh, relates to what happens normally in the music industry. So you just tell the story of these young, beautiful people who are trying to make it in the music industry, mm -hmm. and we go through them, through the, through the journey as they pass the challenges, No, okay. Okay, and 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 they are rise to stardom. Yeah. Yeah. So this is not like as as you say the personal experience from a certain somebody, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, then have you taken different situations from different places? Because fix together into an amazing project. Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, initially, I would have told the story uh, <clears throat> me being a video director. Yeah. <laughs> in the eyes of a video director, but there's a lot of things that we see that happen uh, in the industry. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's cinema. It has to be very dramatic. Yeah. Um, some stories uh, are directly from what has happened, what we've experienced, yeah. and what we know other people have experienced in the industry. Yeah. And uh, we're just telling a beautiful story. Yeah. And uh, of course, the talents are very raw. Mm -hmm. uh, the stories are very raw. Yeah. And very rela relatable. Mm -hmm. And that's how we go about it. Yeah. yeah. And of course, you've carefully, you know, uh, picked uh, the cast. I've met some <laughs> of them. They are very exciting, by the way. Yeah. How did you come to meet some of these people? So some of them, a few of them, I know them personally. Mm -hmm. Of course, now being in the industry, mm -hmm. in the film industry, um, I think 95% of the cast, mm -hmm. this was the first time I'm working with them. And But I'd say 50% of them, I know them. I just know them in the industry. So it was also very exciting just to introduce new faces mm -hmm. uh, to the industry and just quite shout out to there's a lot of talent yeah. that is out here. So it was very interesting even for me in terms of creating the, the idea yeah. and I came up with the idea. We always had, a, had an idea in terms of an FKA cast can be done by this, this type of person. But when you're going through the casting and all that, And most of the team, most of the cast were, into, were introduced by our crew. Mm -hmm. They're like, hey, this, I know a person who can do this. Yeah. So when they came into the project and they interpreted the characters in their own way, yeah. it was very interesting just to see how somebody had depict a character that you created. Yeah. So it's been an exciting journey, yeah. especially working with a lot of new faces. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, we first knew you from music videos. Yes. Why the need to switch? I don't know whether you switched <laughs> to film, but uh, why the need to also tap into yeah. a new industry? So uh, it's still the same industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still the film industry. Yeah. It's divided into now. Of course, there's music and all that. But I believe being a modern day polymath, yeah. you need to also expand your wings and figure out what you can do to of course better the industry mm -hmm. and of course to better your craft. Yeah. So I'm still doing all of them, it's just that they're connected, mm -hmm. but of course when you're dealing with music videos, it's music which is guiding that. Yeah. When I'm doing TV commercials, mm -hmm. it's the content which is there. When I'm dealing with film, that's the story that you're telling, yeah. but the media itself is still the same, all that. Yeah. So. I think it's more of expanding, expanding the breadth, so that um, I bring all the experience that I had from doing music videos. Yeah. For music videos, you have to keep somebody glued on the screen for three minutes. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> 
So when trying to do that for a whole 30 minutes or one hour, then it gets complicated in a way, yeah. but in a challenging way. And mm-hmm. for me, I take up challenges very well. Yeah. And that's why it's very interesting for me to also figure out, because when I'm doing music videos, we used to do it in this kind of way just to to create attention. So yeah. I'm also being the same experience when I'm doing film and yeah. all this other stuff. Yeah. yeah, a person who is in the entertainment industry or rather music industry watching yeah. famous, do you, what are some of the things you think these people are going to learn from these amazing projects? First of all, um, somebody who's in the industry, they'll be like, why am I not there? <laughs> <laughs> yes. First of all, and uh, I think the second thing is also in terms of just the amount of raw talent. Yeah. And most of the time when you talk about scripted shows, and you hear there's a musical happening, you'd expect maybe just a few people who can sing, they mm-hmm. get just random songs and they sing, but guys are really singing, mm-hmm. uh, they're writing their own songs. We are, we are able to have um, Soka, mm-hmm. he's a renowned producer, he's working on all the music there, yeah. and the wonderful team now at EOP Films. So everybody has put their all into that. So even if you're in the industry and you watched it, when you watch it for the first time, you're like, why am I not there? Yes. The second thing, the just the, the, the amount of talent yes. that is there. Yeah. And the, the story, the way we tell the story, and there's a lot to learn because we also tell the journeys of three different people who come who have different backgrounds. So as we follow the journey, mm-hmm. I think a lot of people can relate to a certain journey because it's widespread. Yeah. And the stories are very down to earth and they're very real. Yeah. Yeah. And I, we are planning to, you know, check it out on Monday as mm-hmm. is it premieres. Yes. What should fans expect? Um, to just experience raw talent. I'm really excited for guys to see what we've been working on. Yeah. And um, the amount, we, we love it. Everybody from the crew and the cast, everybody is excited for guys to see what you're having there. Yeah. And we just expect people to appreciate uh, the amount of local talent that you can get yeah. into there. And from there, the sky is the limit. Yeah. yeah. You're one of the stars um, in this amazing series, right? Yeah. What role do you play? So my role is Nikita. Mm-hmm. She is, when you meet her in the story, she's a, she's an established star. She's a, she's a singer, so she's established, but she's established because of her boyfriend, Magic. So basically everything she has, Magic says, he has given her. So now when you meet her, she's trying to she's trying to find herself. She's trying to figure out if she can do this without Magic. Because it's like they have an arrangement with Magic. They're together for sure. Yeah. So they make more money as a couple than they do individually. But Magic is more established. So when you meet her, she's trying, because she's, she's gone through so much with this guy. Mm-hmm. She's trying to now stand on her own and just be, can I make it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's a very strong woman because mm-hmm. she goes through a lot yeah. and um, she finds a way always to bounce back no matter what she's going through. She always finds a way to make it work, get up, do it again because I think she's got it and she's young by the way for because she's 26. Yeah. So for her age I think she's realized early she needs to do this on her own because if she keeps and uh, like mm-hmm. magic because it's so emotional for her. He has girlfriends everywhere. I can go to another interview, Mali, and it's Magic's outside chick doing the interview. So I'm in Giliwa. So it's I. Famous is a musical film. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the second of its kind in Kenya. Um, it's a project that is very close to my heart because back in my younger days, I was a, a rapper. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty much one of the reasons why I was casted as the lead of the show. Um, um, it is a film that uh, follows three people. Um, there's Nyota, who is an upcoming artist, you know, the normal youngins that you'll find chasing after the dream. Then there's Nikita, who's an established artist. Um, the ones who are already up there and they act like they own the world. And then there's Magic, who's uh, basically the connect between the two. Mm-hmm. He is um, he's a record producer. He is a renowned rapper, uh, probably the most famous guy on the show. Um, but then he also has his life away from music that is very troubling. So it's basically 
famous is a journey that follows these three people together. Yeah. Yeah. Calvin so mostly um, people who watch myself, I play a lot of bad guys, bad characters. Um, if I'm running a business, I'm the crook in the business. Yes. If I'm in a relationship, I'm the not. The... <laughs> yeah, so Calvin is a good guy. Yeah. you get to a script. script. You know, he's, he's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. He's, he's MC Magic's best friend. Mm-hmm. go way back. Mm-hmm. Um, I love him. He's also um, a co-owner of Magic Inc. Mm-hmm. So he's the business, he's the business mind yeah. of the me. Magic is the scene as the creative guy and the superstar. Yeah. So, in the behind the scenes, Kwai Paul singers are doing one of the things that are not Yeah. Um, you say he's, he's a deep thinker, mm-hmm. he's a family man, he's married. Mm-hmm. Um, my mama's boy. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm mm-hmm. too committed to the Sharayake. I'm saying, Paul, I'm not going to go to the Sharayake. Shot. Yeah. Not a cool, but you have the environment for you to succeed. Yeah. Yes. So, don't know. You seem go get a love piano in the edge. Eh. Like out the edge. Eh. When I do what you call it, I like out the edge to crack it to really go on a catch. Yeah. Uh, so, but this is in the north of it. I'm doing your cheek. Cynthia? Yes. Nyoto is this girl who is from this uh, not so great family. Mm-hmm. Uh, Music is her everything. Music has been everything to her since her parents weren't really in the picture mm-hmm. in the first place. Mm-hmm. They abandoned her, but um, like she never falters. Like as much as that happened to her, like she still goes for what she wants, and I guess that kind of relates to Brianna as well. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, my scenario. Because yeah. I also went for what I wanted. Mm-hmm. And um, she's really trying to, okay, she's really kind of the girl that she hasn't made it yet, mm-hmm. but she's heading there. She yeah. just doesn't know it. Mm-hmm. And she's even about to you know, give up. I mean, everybody goes through those times, those dark times mm-hmm. that you feel, oh, am I really gonna make it? Am I really gonna make it? But yeah, basically, Nyota is that one character that will go for what she wants. Mm. But at the same time, <laughs> too many tragedies are happening and like, just coming towards her all the time. And, yeah. Have you found any similarities or any differences between Michelle and Nikita? Right? A and- lot of- <laughs> A lot of differences because I was really scared to play her in the beginning. She was, I've never played a character like this. She was very scary because she's very forward, which I am not in life. Like, if Nikita has a problem with you, she'll tell you, Hapo, Hapo, do we? No, like, she's not apologetic. It is what it is. I said it. We move on. Yeah. And me, I'm more, I'm more introverted. I'm more within myself. Like, even like this, she's very out. Like we're having this scene on set. Yeah. And she's very she's a bit dramatic. So I feel like shout. So we, I kept struggling with that phrase. I'm just like, can I say it quietly? No, we want like you're talking to the whole club. It was so irritating for me because I'm like, Michelle would say it like this. But then now that's how you have to remove yourself from the character, like it's not you. Yeah. But we do have similarities in the fact that if you want me to do something, tell me I can't. Yeah. Like when people tell me, Oh, that's not possible. I'm like, okay, fine. Let me show you. It's yeah. Possible. So that aspect, we do have similarities. Style even, like the, a lot of things Nikita wears, I'm just like, eh, I don't know really why that. Yeah. But it helps in getting into the character because it helps me put Michelle aside yeah. and I can be Nikita. Yeah. There, there are a bit of similarities, but there's also a lot of differences. Yeah. That is where now being an actor comes into play. Mm-hmm. Because you have to own the character, you have to become that person. So I would say that uh, Magic, Kula had to become Magic for the role to come alive. 
Um, the only thing that I would share, that I would say the two share is basically the fact that I understand music. Mm -hmm. I've been there. Mm -hmm. I was a rapper for maybe three years. Yeah. I understand the studio life. I write music. I would say that's the only similarities. But um, magic is um, <laughs> magic doesn't respect women at all. Mm -hmm. um, magic is a uh, lack of a better word. F boy. Kula, on the other hand, is a married man. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a family guy. Have a child. Um, so I would say there's a very huge difference between magic and Kula. Yeah. But uh, of course, Kula had to become magic. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was speaking to Michelle and uh, she spoke to me about the movie being quite hot. And uh, as a married man, how do you prepare for such, you know, for scenes that are quite hot? Um, um, I think for me, marriage comes first before stardom, before everything else. So I would say that, um, first of all, I have to be comfortable with uh, whatever scene I'm about to do. Um, I have to discuss it with my wife and be sure that she's also comfortable with what I'm about to do. And um, film is about creativity, it's about art, it's about figuring everything out. If you are not comfortable kissing somebody, mm -hmm. It's film. The camera can do magic. Yeah. The camera can go around it. So what I can say is, um, yes, the film is hot, but there's a lot of creativity around it yeah. that doesn't uh, disrespect, you know, your better half. Yeah. yeah. What What should fans expect as we as we await for the premiere on Monday? It's going to be hot. Yeah. It's going to be hot. I don't think. Personally, I have not seen anything like this in Kenya. I even remember reading the script and I'm like, eh, guys, are you sure? We're doing this. They're like, yes. Eh, are you sure? In Kenya? Yes. So it's, but what makes it wonderful is, and what fans should expect and appreciate is, it's authentic. Yeah. Everything we are doing in this series is authentic. If you see a relationship, you see an authentic relationship. We're not trying to, that's why people say we're pushing boundaries. But if you think about a relationship, you have intimate moments mm -hmm. in real life. Mm -hmm. And art is, we're trying to show, we're trying to create intimate moments, real moments. So when you take away other things, like a lot of, like, and I understand where we are in Africa and stuff, but when you have your boyfriend, you hold his hand, you have those moments of just you two. Mm -hmm. So when you see moments between like characters who are in love, they're so intimate and they're, they're real. Like you believe these people are together. Yeah. Because I've seen so far, I haven't seen, I'm not saying it's not there. Yeah. But me as Michelle, I haven't seen in Kenyan TV people pushing that boundary, people creating real, real moments yeah. where you believe, hey, this two are not there. You know what's going on. So it's very, Enos has done it now, it's so authentic in everything that happens. Even not just in intimate moments of relationships between um, intimate relationships, but like even friendships. He's, it's, it's just, it's, for me, it's very authentic, it's very believable. And that's the like fans, you <laughs> to trust and go on top of emotional. Famous is a TV show about young people. Yeah and not just any type of young people, young people with a dream. Mm -hmm. Like people who want to get it, not you are. Mm -hmm. um, that's why our tagline is, whatever it takes. You understand? Yeah. Like, as, in, um, as a young Kenyan, mm -hmm. anyone can understand kukuwa na dream na kukuwa ready kufanya anything yeah. to be able to actualize this dream. <laughs> it's Kip Chua, a super actor, but you already know so. <laughs>